Hey everyone, it's Uncle George, and welcome back to Let's Play Virtue Slash Reward. So, uh, last time we got shunted through, uh, I think it was the red chromatic door, I have, uh, I've forgotten, but uh, something tells me it was the red one. Anyway, uh, we got shunted through one of the chromatic doors, that's for sure, and uh, we've ended up here at uh, a familiar looking junction, even though it's not the same one. Uh, it's uh, nonetheless, yeah, very familiar. So, uh, let's get on and uh, continue with the game, I suppose. <laughs> Mizito,左と真ん中扉は3枚あるけど全部ロックがかかってるみたいだねこの装置は何かしらレバーがついてるけどシグま下げてみてくれるhat's unusual of Sigma to completely not object to pulling the lever normally uh, he gets uh, tries to get someone else to do it or at least he did last time that uh, that we were in one of these rooms. Without waiting for a response, Alice strode off toward the open door. Clover and I hurried to follow. Uh, yes, it was the red door that we went through having looked at that map, so uh, good, I got it right. <laughs> ah, the pantry. There's always something that I miss in the pantry and I can never remember obviously what it is because I always miss it. So I'll have to see if I can find it. Wow! <laughs> だって、この棚に保管されてるのみんなパンティーなんでしょだから、ほら、部屋の扉にそう書いてあったじゃん。四つ葉、あれはパンティーじゃなくて。Why did they put this in the game? I don't know. Is she really that that? Uh, I don't know. Illiterate, <laughs> dyslexic. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, it did not say panty. <laughs> I guess in Japanese they use exactly the same joke where uh, she was saying panty and pantori there, so uh, that's uh, that's uh, one that they could easily translate over to into English, I guess. <laughs> Her face had turned an especially amusing shade of red. ちょっぴりと水が蓄えられてるんだね。一方棚の方に保管されてるのはおそらくパンティじゃなくてパンとのはず。だとするとこの施設は。だと思うわ。もしかしたら感染者の隔離施設なのかも。教えたでしょ。ラジカル<笑> <笑>私だって嫌よ。たとえ食料があっても下着の替えがないなんて許せないもの。え、なんかレッツゴーアダイ。そういう問題。ていうか、いい加減忘れてほしいんだけど、そのネタ。え、なんかレッツゴーアダ
it in place. So if we push it, it'll unlock. I think we can move this thing if we release all the locks. Yeah. That's one thing I never notice uh, when I'm uh, playing this. That's not the only thing. Uh, are there more over here? Yes, there are. Uh, I can't reach those ones yet, though. Uh, I could open this, though. And in here is... Nutritional management chart and nutritional balance chart. Okay, I think that's kind of what I always uh, miss. Uh, there are wheels on this thing, if you can move it, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's whatever's in the door on the right, but I want to get down here and I can't get down there, so... No, I want to... Oh, there we go, I can get down there. It took a little while of tapping around, but I got it. All the wheel locks should be released, yep. A fancy little cutscene of it moving there. <laughs> Nothing behind there, but that's okay, because we wanted this door. If I always miss that previous thing, then I definitely always miss this one. pH scale, and pH detection chemical. Okay, that's what I definitely always miss. And I think there's a puzzle later on that, that uses those, but they aren't like strictly fully necessary, and so you can solve it without them, but it takes a lot of trial and error, but now that you've got those, it's no trial and error at all. So uh, that should uh, fill out some spaces in my archive and so on. Uh, what's this over here? We've found the calendar. Okay then. Found it on the back of the calendar. Okay. So, uh, hold on, looking at the uh, archive. Uh, calendar for first half of the year. Yeah, it is a little bit weird, but uh, once you realise what all these mean, first half of the year, second half of the year. And then there's also this note on the back of it, the day the man was abducted. Ooh. Uh, oh, this turns on, okay. I didn't think it would turn on straight away, I thought I had to do something else. Enter the most appropriate option in the blank area and press the check button. Okay, let me give it a shot. Um, okay. So, uh, hold on. So, duh. E2 or something like that. I don't know. I'm just making it guess. Failed. Okay. So we don't know it yet, but basically, how this works, if you notice, uh, this is also split into four things. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, 11, 12. So these basically correspond to the dates on the calendar. If I go back to uh, the calendar, second half of the year. See, so uh, the one on the right here is obviously 10 through 12. And it starts with the red on the top left and ends with the red on the bottom. If we uh, go back, it starts with the red on the top left and ends with the red on the bottom. And the day the man is abducted, well, we are the man. Uh, so that would be uh, December 25th, which in this case is right at the bottom, the one next to the red. Okay then. So that would be B13. So if I pop B13 in here, 10, 11, 12, B... 13. Check. That gives us a completed message. And it's in blue. And there's the password. Okay then. You found a safe password. The blue password. So that was a pretty simple blue password. Uh, I have a weird talent for getting the blue password first. <laughs> apparently, given that uh, I got the blue password first here, and in the uh, in the lounge. Anyway, uh, over here is a thing that needs. Okay, here we go. 
So there's uh, five dates here, and we need to find out where those are on the uh, calendar. So hold on. Uh, file. So calendar first of the year. These are all in uh, American notation, by the way. One thirteen, obviously being thirteenth of January, uh, which is confusing to me because I would write it as thirteen one, but whatever. So these five dates here. Uh, hold on. One thirteen is uh, one thirteen is going to be C. No, three. Uh, yeah. A B C D E. So E three. So hold on. Uh, oh, I can oh, straight from the archive. If I were to do that, I can memo. So uh, yeah, there's our old memo. Uh, degraded a little bit, but there it is. Uh, let's just scrub this out because I don't need all of this anymore, do I? Get rid of all this and. Uh, Okay, so run a new memo. So uh, one thirteen is hold on three. So uh, one two three. Uh, A B C D E E. <laughs> I'm horrible at writing on this thing. <laughs> e three. Okay, I don't know what the. Uh, Okay, the next one is 3.27. So, archive, uh, calendar. 3.27 is all the way at the bottom. So, uh, it's 1, 2, 3 again. Uh, it's B. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. There's a horrible B again, but I'm bad at this, okay? So, next one is 5 7. Uh, archive, first of the year. So, that's 7th of May, I've got to remember, not 5th of July, uh, July yeah. 5 7 is. Uh, well, it's 4 5 6. Uh, 5 7 is there. So, A. Two, four, six, seven. Five, six, eight, seven. Okay. Next date is seven thirty. So I know this is kind of boring, but uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Second half of year, seven thirty. Yeah. Seven thirty is on the left there. So it's seven, eight, nine. Uh, A again because it's on the left. Two, four, six. And finally, I remember the last one actually. The last one is 11-11 uh, because uh, it's in blue and 11-11 uh, is easy to remember. So 11-11 is obviously over on the uh, right hand side, the very right hand side in the blue column. I'm guessing the uh, the calendar here is meant to be uh, blues are Saturday and reds are Sundays, by the way. That would be my guess. Uh, I don't know what year it's supposed to represent. Uh, I could look it up, but I can't bother right now. So the last one is 10, 11, 12... A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and 11, 11 is 2, 4, 6. There's a horrible, horrible death. That's such a horrible G. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Oh, good. Don't want to have to do all that all over again. Uh, G, 6. There we go. That'll do. Okay, then. Now I've got all those dates. Let's stick them all into the machine. Unfortunately, they won't all give us safe passwords. <laughs> But if I open this up, uh, I can grab my memo, and I can see that I want 1, 2, 3, E, 3. So 1, 2, 3, E, 3, check. And that comes up with a completed message. Did it work? Look at the shelves. The shelves, the drawers, whatever you want to call them. Now, how does she know that was going to happen before it happened? Uh, anyway, I think we can just put them all in at once and then grab all those uh, at the end. So, uh, memo, 123B14. 123B14, check. Look, another one. It just popped out. So, 
So, we might as well do all these five in one go. Uh, what is next? Next is four, five, six, a seven. Thank you. Four, five, six, a seven. Good, good. Come on, draw. <laughs> there it goes. Why are you only allowed to access these specific dates? I don't know. Uh, anyway, next up is seven eight nine a six. Seven eight nine. A six. I don't know why they couldn't just write these on the uh, write those dates on the actual drawers. Looks like there's another one. There it is. Just pops out. And lastly, it's eleven eleven, which is ten eleven twelve G six. Ten eleven twelve G six. Yeah, it would have been a lot easier if they just wrote the dates on the uh, on the actual things. That makes five. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> and there we go. So uh, we'll grab all these, and I think we'll finish off the video there. So uh, box of pasta rations. Okay then. And this one is a box of soup rations. This one is a box of salad rations. That one's a box of meat rations. And down here is a box of fish rations. Okay then. So we're going to have to do something with all these rations. Uh, and it, let me just say it's to do with this ration machine. So uh, we'll sort that out later. Thanks for watching everyone. And bye bye.